So good morning, here we are in Benamara this morning. Uh, this is the house, uh, renovated townhouse on the edge of the community here. At the end you've got the, the highway, the access, so you're very close to all the amenities. And just literally 200 meters in this direction takes us down onto the beach. If you can see the pine there in the distance, this pine is in a plot on the front line so literally the other side of there is the is the the the, uh, the beach okay most owners who have a house on the outside park directly outside their house but there is gated parking at the end where, where the green gate is if you can see that uh, there's covered parking and secure parking if you want to leave a vehicle here for any length of time okay so coming into the property you have a small sort of garden area entrance usually when the family's here this is full of kids bikes and things uh, you could very easily deck this or lawn it or extend the terrace just to uh, make it a little little easier to look after Okay, so entering the property, you'll see it's been uh, renovated completely. The owners have uh, changed the electrics, the water, the flooring. They've changed the windows for UPVC windows. You have blinds, persianas on all of them. You still have the traditional wreckers on the outside in line with the rest of the community. So in the entrance here you've got big wardrobe for storage. They have it as a sort of general storage, but this could be an entrance for shoes, that sort of thing. You see lovely big tiles. The bar area is uh, built in, but you'll see the floor it runs underneath, so if you didn't want it, you could very easily uh, take this out. It's very much an entertaining house. You'll see there's a big dining table area here. There's another big one here. When the family come, uh, there's normally a couple of families and quite a few children sort of all hanging out together. see a big living area space across over here so access through to the other garden here so this is the main bedroom ensuite so from this door onwards you have again lots of wardrobes on this side more on this side you have the ensuite area here, which we'll come back to. Then you have double bedroom through here. So this looks into that entrance garden. Like I say, you've got persianas there to close down at the night time or when you're not here. Again, lots more wardrobes here. You didn't have quite as many clothes as the owner you could remove these wardrobes make the bedroom a little bit bigger but it is a double so you probably prefer the storage so lots of storage here lots of storage here ensuite toilet bidet sink at the moment you've got traditional spanish spanish short bath with a shower head i think i would probably remove the bidet remove the bath and just put a shower plate there with a glass screen make it a wet room you could do that very easily leaving the rest of the floor and the walls which are very modern okay so back into the main living area as you can see it's all 
open and one big space. Next to here we've got the third bathroom with walk-in shower as you can see, toilet, sink, big built-in mirror, modern lighting, there's a little window there in the shower if you can see, for ventilation. And that third bathroom serves as guest toilet and for the use for this, the third bedroom. This is a, a double or could be a twin. If you were to rearrange the beds, you could put a cabinet in the middle, a cabinet on that end with the bed on this end and you could sleep as a twin as opposed to a double, but you have that versatility. Wardrobes here again air conditioning and then more wardrobes here behind the door okay come through come through to the indoor garden feature area under the stairs and to the kitchen uh, vendors are spanish so kitchen is set to one side everything is uh New oven, hob, extractor units. You've got two, two big fridges with freezer and so on. Sink in the corner here and again window for ventilation. Dishwasher, washer, washer dryer I think this one is. Oven's actually never been used. Okay. So coming back through to this big living area. Okay, so we'll take the stairs. We'll finish inside first. Upstairs you've got guest bedroom, second bedroom. This is set up as a twin now, but you could easily pull those beds together to make it a double. New windows. Looking into the communal gardens. Again, lovely big wardrobes. En suite. Toilet, sink. And another big walk-in shower. With a window, again, for ventilation. So upstairs, you've got access door to this terrace. Lovely open terrace, must be 40, 50 square meters. Again, another built-in bar. This area would benefit, I think, from a sail or canopy or some kind of shade. It does get very, very bright, very hot, but a, a nice modern looking shade would look well here. Like I say, 40, 50 square meters of space here. Must excuse the uh, the mess on the floor. The cleaners have not been here for a couple of days, or a couple of weeks. <laughs> okay. So we'll go back inside, through, and then to the downstairs garden. Okay, so we're back downstairs. You have this other door. That was the main entrance, living area again. This door, exterior door, comes to a covered porch and then leads through to the private garden. Now the owners were here, well, they left literally last week and they had some uh, big furniture across here. Um, sofas and chair and different thing, which was all sort of spread out but hadn't been used for a little while so they've taken that away the uh, sprinklers are set back on this garden should come back very quickly but i think i would possibly think about either making part of it terrace or all of it terrace or some of the uh or the decking the new modern uh, artificial decking lasts very well and looks looks very good and would be great here without uh, needing much maintenance at all so you've got two big outside areas, upstairs and downstairs. This will get the sun later in the afternoon. 
upstairs gets the sun all day. West is that general direction, so the sun sets across here. South is here. It's a little early in the morning, so the sun's just coming up here on the east. Okay. And then I'll pause for a moment and we'll just walk through to the garden, the pool area. So just coming from the gate. Walk through the second line of houses. This is all gated. So that's the house we were just in and the gate. Follow the gardener's hose. Gardens are huge. You can tell this urbanization was built in the 80s. There's lots of space and green areas for what's relatively a small number of properties, which is very unusual. Today, you just wouldn't find this. And many people are buying the houses and renovating them now. Uh, well, to be on the beach side and have such, such, such large gardens. Huge pool area there. It's a little early for everybody to be up yet. Outside ping pong. And you can see the houses are nicely spread out, all very low rise. Two stories maximum. Some of them are upstairs, downstairs apartments. Some of them are corner little townhouses. Okay, I think that's everything.